Hi there, my name is Julia. That's a blooming apricot tree. Go back to this video. I will be showing you how to transform a $1 chest into a $7.99 chest. Let's go. So, I got this chest from the Dollar Tree. I know what you're saying. It's not the best quality chest, but come on, it was $1. I mean, it's crooked, but what can you blame them for? So, now I, I will show you how to turn this chest into that $7.99 chest that I was talking about before. Let's go. This is the chest. It opens like this. Uh, the, it's crooked, the hinges are crooked. But I got it from the Dollar Tree, so it doesn't even matter. I gotta remember to cut that one out. Um, yeah, so it opens, it's very rough, it's not sanded, so we gotta do some serious work with this. Let's go. Let's go. First, I took some sandpaper and a nail file and sanded down the chest so that we can make it smooth because it was not sanded when I got it. I want to stain my wooden chest, but I don't have any wood stain, so instead I use watercolors. Here's how. Put a little bit of watercolor into a container and mix it with water, and then stain your chest. I stained it in a very pretty brown chestnut color. Alrighty guys, we finished staining the chest in a very pretty chestnut brown color. So, because we don't want to ruin the very pretty chestnut brown color with the plants and the soil that we're going to put in, we have to find another way to make sure that the wood doesn't rot. So I'm actually going to be using a plastic bag and I'm going to put the plastic into the chest like this. And then we put the soil, it doesn't look pretty right now, we put the soil and then we put the succulents in. This way, the water is not going to go to the wood and it's not going to rot. We don't want the water to rot. So, let's go. So first I chose what succulent I first want to put in the chest and chose this orange one followed with another succulent that spills out at the left side. More on the back and then I got these little bean succulents because I wanted to replicate a spilling treasure chest. So when you open the chest, well it's already open, so when you open a chest the gold spills out. If the stem's too long, cut it. Put the bigger succulents in the back and the smaller ones in the front. And if you don't have enough soil, you can put more. Then on the right side, I put this succulent that has a long stem and one that spills out. Then a little bit more. And then finally, this big one in the back. I filled in the areas that have dirt with sand. Here is the final result. Oh wait, you thought we were done? We have another chest to customize. Let's go. So, instead of painting it with a brown color, I'm gonna paint it with a blue color. I'm gonna stain it blue so it looks something like this. And I'm gonna dry brush it with white so it looks something like this. Let's go. But before that, I sanded the chest down with a nail file and sandpaper, and I noticed that the hinges weren't all the way in, so I tightened them with a screwdriver. So I got this blue color, but it was too dark. So I added some white acrylic paint to the stain, and then went to go get some water, and then I got the perfect stain. 
Then I started saying the inside of my chest. The inside is painted. When I close it, it looks like some sort of blue explosion happened in there. Time to paint the outside. Oh, and should I mention, there's three parts of a chest you have to paint. The inside, top and bottom, and the sides. Paint one at a time so that you can let the other sides dry thoroughly without touching any surfaces and ruining the paint. When you come back to paint the next one, stir the paint because it might separate. Here I stained the tops and bottoms of the chest and I added two layers. Notice how it's very hard to paint when you're painting two sections at a time. Don't leave any paint splotches because this might result in uneven coloration. So before we dry brush, let me show you what it even is. Take this action figure for example. See the gold paint that's laid on top of the textured plastic? That way, it better visualizes what textures that this has and it makes it more lifelike. I wanted to mimic this on my chest. They did a bad paint job on the face though. So I wanted to dry brush my chest because I found some textures on it and I was like, oh, why not? Maybe I should enhance it better to make it look one of those vintage blue sea chests. And my room is beach themed, so it's gonna be perfect. So, to dry brush, get the tiniest bit of white paint, the tiniest bit on a dry brush. If you don't have a dry brush, the paint is going to be too wet and you won't be able to enhance that texture. So get a dry brush and get the tiniest little bit of white, or any color. I started with the bottom, but I was so bad because the bottom had no textures. And who looks at the bottom anyways? So I moved on to the front and look how much better the paint is looking there. Then I went to the sides. And if you need more white paint, go ahead. And if you have too much, just smooth it out. Chest is looking good, time to plant. But before we plant, I was told the chest needed to look way cooler. Sorry guys. Maybe I can incorporate some more beach themed elements into my design. Ah, uh, way better now. It super nicely enhances the beach themed. It can't close, but that's as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so this is behind the scenes of the succulent plane. Because we don't know what to put, and yeah. I'm her brother, by the way. You probably see me in the pot painting video. Dudes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I already decided two second ones, but I don't know where. I decided this little thing. I don't know what it's called because I'm not a succulent expert. And I don't know. Hard to decide. But my sister over here, she's having an even more harder time. Nothing looks good in this chest. Yeah, I'm starting to think that the sea things were not a good idea. So later in this video, you might see me faking them out, but I'll think about it. Yeah, so I'm making a green chest in this video, and I'm putting this thing and <gasps> oh, this no, baby. spiky it. bean thing. And I don't know. I say, we'll see you when you're done. Well, we'll see you when we're done trying to pick. She will remove some. <laughs> I broke some of the wood. No. <laughs> yes, she remove a lot. Like, she already removed one. I don't know where it is. You're like, can I get your hand over it? She removed one right there. I'm gonna take off. And 
<laughs> Although I picked two second ones I wanted, as I said in the other clip. This looks so much crowded. But I don't know what to put. We have all these succulents and all these, and we have a propagation station over here. If you didn't know that, we also have these red bean plants. I don't know what they are, but we do have these. First, I chose a succulent. And my sister finally chose a succulent! Hooray! Right, so I'm gonna put all, just all um, seed and protein components. Oh, okay, so you're not gonna do any arrangements? Nope. Boring. But I'm gonna need two. Ah, what? All right, so now my sister has finally figured out what succulent she's gonna pick. Finally. And now I have to figure out what succulent, so oh, for it. And it's two o'clock in the morning doing this. Well, two o'clock afternoon. I mean, sorry, messed up the time. And no one to pick, I'm just playing with this thingy. Driftwood. And I mean, I got cactuses. Boy, but it ain't got no succulents. I mean, you got aloe, and I decided already what succulent, but I don't know where. So, I'll see you when we're done. Bye. Now, since we decided what succulents we're gonna put, we're doing the plastic baggie method, and see you when we're done. Oh, I took off this. And then we put it in the Let's restart, Julia. We already said. Little Can they see place us? like this. And then you put the soil in right here and the little perfect. Just put the soil in here and then plant it and cut it. So I got a container full of some soil right here and it's just some normal potting mix. But you see, I want to focus your attention on this browner area of the soil. That's actually not soil. That's coffee, ground coffee. Ground coffee I use because it's a natural fertilizer for any plant and it makes them super energetic and they grow very nicely. So I like to mix ground coffee in my potting mix and they're ready to go. This is so easy. Just put the soil into the plastic bag and firmly press it down. Cut half of the bag open and fill the soil until the top. And when you're ready, cut the remaining plastic. Now I'm ready to plant. I got some of these succulents that are called sedum jelly beans and I chose only those to keep it simple. As you can see, this has a lot of the roots, but this area of the trunk does not. We can cut the area of the trunk that does not and we could just take this rooted area or we can cut even lower just to match the same size and fit in your container. So I have finished my little chest. As you can see, I just put some little sedum jelly bean plants in it. Just that, I just wanna keep it simple. Maybe I'll put this in the bathroom so other people can enjoy. We also have a bunch of leaves for the propagation station. And if you're wondering, these sedum jelly beans, of course, they can be used as propagating. We're gonna put these leaves in the propagation station and you can just sprinkle them around. The succulents will find their way and they'll still propagate even if they're like this. And then we put it in the propagation station with the other plants. And similarly to succulents, nothing goes to waste. I'm just gonna tuck these little starfish in the little crevices of the container. And my brother perhaps predictably filled it up with so many different types. Probably like 20. No, not 20. Can't even fit 20. As you can see, he got an aloe, some echeverias, more sedum that's really spilling out. Yeah. Succulents have adapted to very shallow root systems, so they will be fine in these containers. But first, the vintage chest redesign because everything fell out.
Oh, for him to make. <laughs> Me and my brother made two vintage chests. This is my brother's, and this is mine. Then I made one beach themed with sedum jelly beans for the bathroom, and Chris made a green one with his room. This one goes in the bathroom. My vintage chests will go in the shelf. Don't touch, don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. 